Gaffer, welcome back to a, a, another season. It doesn't seem that long ago since we were talking about the end of the season. Uh, in fact, it was. It was only about seven weeks ago, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, I think these pre-seasons get a lot shorter. Uh, first question, did you get a holiday in? I did, yeah. I went to Egypt for two weeks, which is a very nice nice break with the uh, the missus and the kids, which said all along, you know, sacrificed a lot of my time for me, my job. Uh, I like to put my heart and soul into it for the... Well, the 50 weeks that I work, and then obviously two weeks with the family, but still little bits and pieces going on, but certainly nowhere near as much as what was going on this time last season. So, uh, no, I really enjoyed it, and good to be back. Good, well, it's good to see you. And, and there has been a lot of excitement, you know, talking about uh, you know what you just talked about there, really. Early signings, and uh, some really positive signings as well. You know, it looks like you've been really hard at work to, uh, to get your men. You know, we've got Aaron Wildig, who's, who's, who's decided to sign on for his full time, which is great. Tom Barkhuizen, Peter Murphy, Lee Molyneux, Adam Dugdale, all all names you know within League One, League Two. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, congratulations on, uh, on on being able to do that. Well, we'll see if the you know congratulations are to be held to so we see what they like. But you know, on paper, um, what they've done so far in the careers. Um, Obviously, we know about Alan Wildig and Tom with being here, you know, on loan, which, you know, I've, I've done it in the past and gives you the great opportunity to have a look at them, not just as a player, but, you know, as a person, the personality, uh, whether they fit in with the group, whether you think you can work with them long term. You know, we did it last season with Sean Bailey, Ryan Edwards, and Jamie Devitt, which I think have turned into good players, so hopefully the two that are coming this year that have been on loan already will, uh, will be a success. Uh, Adam and Falk got better and better as the you know the tail end of the season come. I think the season end and come at the wrong time for him because he was just hitting form. Uh, but that's to be expected because he hadn't played much football all season. Probably played about four or five games before he come to us. But uh, I think he he showed a lot. You know, character wise to throw him straight into the first team away at Carlisle when he just met the players on the uh, on the coach beforehand. Um, told me a lot about him. Um, and as I say, I think he went from strength to strength. I was pleased. You know, he got a goal in the last game of the season. Um, he got a couple of assists. You know, he got one away for Paul Moore, I think, at York. He got an assist on the last day for Jack Redshaw. And, uh, you know, he's a good player, very good footballer. You know, wants to do well, good age. He's moved into the area. Um, so I think he'll have a good season. I think he'll be a good player for us. Tom, you know, at his age, played at, pre uh, at championship level. Um, Played the majority of it last season at right back, but uh, you know that's a good learning curve for him. But we see him further up the field. I think another one who come at a time when he wasn't playing much football, he was a little bit well right down the pecking order, a little bit cast aside, a little bit of his previous club. Um, at the time, I said it was like you know going to the the dog zone and seeing a little pedigree dog in the corner. It's been a little bit neglected, but uh, we've taken him from that now, and hopefully we can. Uh, Help him show his two colours, and he's got all the attributes to do that. You know, he's a he's an absolute flying machine, so he brings plenty of pace to our side, which I thought was an area we wanted to improve. Certainly, you know, we're going forward, uh, where we see him playing. So I think those two will be good signings for us. Um, and then obviously the other three have all got strengths that we've identified to to help us. Um, you know, Dougie's got out of this division before with Crew. Yeah. Um, yeah, he went to Tramia probably at a bad time, bad move for him in his career. Um, you know, they were having a terrible time at this time. Obviously, went down ultimately, uh, unfortunately for them. But um, you know, good soccer, good good source, strong. You know, been brought up. You know, Crew, and then gone back there in the five years and. You know he's a he's a good centre half certainly this level. He's done the business at the the level ahead as well. So I should imagine. Did, did you talk to David Arteta about? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good mates with Moose. I spoke to him quite a bit. You know, I speak to him about uh, singing the Gibraltar uh, national anthem when I watched him on Sky <laughs> and things like that. Now he learned the words. But uh, you know, me Art is one of me. You know, he was my roommate. Yeah. He was my centre half partner. He's my travelling partner. You know, I'm good mates with uh, with Dave. Um, and you know he speaks very highly of, of Dougie. You know, very good professional. Wants to win, vocal. You know, proper. Put his body on the line. Um, and I'm sure he'll do well for us. Um, Molly. Well, we know what Molly can do. He's proven in the past at Accrington. He's had you know good times there. Again, you know his career's been a little bit up and down for one reason or another. 
Uh, he did particularly well at um, at Atkinson. Got a move into the League One with Crew. Obviously, doesn't work for him. He's had a couple of loan spells, but again, needs somewhere in my opinion that he can call home. You know, he's really excited about the prospect uh, of the season. He, you know, speaking to him this morning coming in. You know, he's made up. He's got his kit on. He feels part of the lads already. The bounce has been great. Um, you know, really excited about what's happening. You can see it in his face. Um, and I think he, he'll be a good one for us again. Yeah, he can give Kevin Allison competition down the left side. You know, with him being left footed, but you know, I've seen a lot of his football at Atkinson against us in other games that I watched. You know, playing off the front man or coming in off the right hand side onto his left foot because you've got a hell of a strike on him. Which again, if you look on the uh, on the internet, you can see some of the goals he scored in the past. I think it's a, a very excitable uh, signing for us, and again, I think he brings us something that hopefully will improve us, and then. Obviously, we've got Peter Murphy, who doesn't need no uh, introductions. We've had a few uh, dues with him over the years, you know, with uh, last-minute goals and getting people sent off and things like that. But again, a winner. Um, you know, Mateman is the nicest guy ever. He is, but he's got that glare, hasn't he? He's got that glare <laughs> about him. But he is. He's a good lad. Knows quite a few of the squad already. Yeah. Um, you know, location is good for him. Wants to get back up up to the northwest. Um, and you know he's one of them that you know what you're going to get out of him when he goes on that pitch yeah. he's a winner wants to put his foot in it, he'll push the, the limits now and then wouldn't surprise me if he lands himself with a couple of the yellow cards but that's the way he plays that's the type of character he is you know he wants to, to do well but I think he's a little bit underrated in other areas as well we've seen him you know, play some good football we certainly know that he can get in the box and score goals um, he'll be good in both boxes, you know, defensively as well. Um, you know, all action, good age. I think it takes a lot of boxes for us and another good signing for us. So, and on top of that, we brought two, you know, good youth team players through as well, and Jack Kerr and Charlie Bailey, who yeah. you know we hope will kick on and, and fulfil some of their potential that they've shown as well. So, although we've we've got you know a little bit of a smaller squad, I think the conversation is going to be a little bit hotter than you know on paper than looking at it. You know, we we look we look on a decent nick and you know, they're all in today. Twenty two players sat around me today. Oh we've re signed Chris Doyle as well this week. Yeah, Doyle's re signed. Right. Um I think Doyle over the last six months certainly has physically developed more than anything. He's definitely grown up because he's had a bit of a, a spell on a you know, where he goes and gets a bit of wool on his back and plays on a Saturday afternoon at a good level and, you know, at the top end of the division as well. So uh, he was playing a lot of big games. I watched him in the playoff final. Uh, against guys, and unfortunately they got beat. Um, but I think it developed in the move, and we've just got to get him to that next step now. Sign for another year. You know the ball's back in his coat. We'll we'll work hard. With him. We'll do what's right by him. We'll probably look to maybe get him another loan move. Hopefully a little bit higher than what he was playing at Chorley. I think um, he did uh, exceptionally well at Chorley. You know scored a few goals as well from centre half, which is a nice bonus. Got plenty of air. Uh, Good reviews, speak to Gary Flickcroft, who I know well, you know, spoke highly about him. Um, you know, plenty of man of the match awards, the fans like them. So if we can just hopefully get him to that next level to bring him on again, you know, hopefully he'll uh, stand him in better instead of coming affect our first team in the future. So another one at twenty years of age, he's got yeah. loads of potential and hopefully he'll uh, fulfil that. Yeah. Oh you, you said today that you just said then it's the first day back today and uh, you know we we, we uh, Always the first day is the hardest one to come back to because it's you know they've had all the time off and it's who's, who's kept the fitness up and, and we've just spoke to Squiz and, and and they all have which is great news. And there's no but reason why they shouldn't. No, absolutely not. Yeah. Model professionals. Uh, and, and and we talked about that before about how how that should be nowadays. The, the game is modern and, mm. and and there isn't any downtime anymore. Uh, but there's a lot of new faces coming, you know, and uh, I think the question I want to ask most is about you know. Peter Murphy coming in and you know how, how we got on with a, a, a certain uh, young man on our team. Who? Uh, which one? Well, the one he got sent off. <laughs> well, there's quite a few to be fair because uh, <laughs> no, first and foremost they've come in. You know they looked the part. The training kit's fabulous. I speak to a lot of managers at our level and some of them are still a little bit up and down. And I like to get the business done. I think we've done it every year. We've been top of the table on more than a couple of occasions early on in the season. That's the aim again to start well. Uh, and I think from day one, July the 1st, although we've come probably in a day or two later than other clubs, I think psychologically to start later, right, to start of the month's good. 
we've planned our pre-season with regards to what we've done in the previous seasons and we're not going to go away from what we've done in the past because it's proven tested and uh, you know been a good formula for us so uh, yeah we had a good 20 minute meeting this morning over certain things and if you've got Kevin Ellison in the room certain things are said so yeah the relationship with Peter May from one or two of our players was brought up by Kev which uh, is not a problem and it's nice to see Peter mingling with them and, and sitting by the lads who's had battles with in the past but that's football that's what I mean about him it doesn't matter you know whether he knows them he's from the same neck of the woods as some of them you know, going on over that white line, he wants to win games of football, and that's what he'll bring to our group. And you know, healthy competition, and I uh, don't see it as a problem. He's straight in. You know, all the new lads have settled right in straight away. Uh, it's been very bubbly this morning. Okay. You know, they're all talking about you know, Andy Palace have been married, and one or two other little things, and you know, where they've been on all the all the, all the bits and pieces come up. But we give them that time this morning to to mingle, have breakfast. Then we have the meeting, then we have the, the uh, testing, which we've done. Yeah. And again, as you say, you know, we're, the, the feedback's really good so far. Uh, well, it is. It's, um, you know, we've, we've told them what we expect of them. The new lads who've come, come in and the uh, youth lads who've stepped up, we've told them exactly what's expected of them, what they need to do over pre-season to prepare themselves for certain uh, physical tests. And um, it looks like we've, we've improved very slightly again, which is great, year on year, just uh, straight away when it was all done, and just had a quick five minutes of squiz over it, he's very pleased, but uh, in this day and age, you know, you're, you're a professional for 52 weeks, yeah, we, we say, yeah, go and enjoy your, your family holiday or whatever, but we don't expect everyone to just close at the end, after South End, and, you know, go and do whatever they want, and do nothing, and then try and get fit during pre-season, we want them to come in, and be able to, uh, adapt and and take what's thrown at them you know starting today tomorrow be a tough day and then from now right up to the first game will be very physical um but the signs are good that they'll be able to take that and it will be tough we always say that but as long as they're all together and the work environment's good which we've always done over the last four years since i've been in charge um and we'll give them everything that they need to make sure that they're in the tip-top condition ready to uh, to go right through all pre-season and certainly it was our first game against Hartlepool. Excellent. I mean, I mean, I think the professionalism of, of, of this particular squad is, uh, is, is is legendary. I mean, Morecambe have got a good reputation. All of the guys who we spoke to, who you who, who just spoken about all the all the new signings, when we said to them, you know, why have you signed? It's it's all about Morecambe's reputation. It's all about you and Ken. So again, that's something to be proud of, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, but you know, I'm doing my job to the best of my ability. Might not always be the way people want it done outside looking in, but you know, as I say, certainly pre-season, it's uh, it's been proven what we've done. You know, for a club like us to be top of the table on more than a couple of occasions. You know, just starting the season well, doing well in the in the cup, um, getting ourselves proper up and running. You know, it's worked well for us. So hopefully that will happen again. But uh, no, nice. The people are signing for them reasons, but um, you know, talk's cheaper to our actions, and we've got to make sure that we uh, we hit the ground running and make sure that we start well again. Is that it now for the signings? Is that is that everything done? Only yeah. business done? It's obviously uh, well, it's come out, hasn't it? it? When I was on holiday, but you know, certain things are football clubs. You know, there's always things going on behind the scenes. You know, we identify players. I sat down with the the chairman and said, you know, what could do with that for us to, to um, hopefully improve again. Uh, we've got targets in, I'm dead pleased with what I've got. Um, you know, really pleased with regards to the chemistry of the group, what they bring into the group. Um, yeah, what, we need another keeper, can't run with one goalkeeper. Uh, that's been an unfortunate uh, situation again. You know, we did speak to Stab about, you know, retaining them. But again, so, one thing or another, not for me to delve into, but um, it hasn't happened. You know that's the game. That's football. It's happened. Um, you know, not a nice situation to be put in no. by myself. No. Um, but yeah, if I could, I'd be looking probably for. Well, I need another goalkeeper and probably another outfield player as well uh, in a certain position. But if there's no money in the pot at the moment, that's it's not to be. But you know, things are always going on behind the scenes. Who knows? You know. Hopefully, we can 
get back past Sheffield United and maybe generate some money there or yeah. something happens in the meantime or you can win the Euro millions or whatever you want. You, know, you never know you never know what's around the corner, but at this present moment, you know, anyone else coming into the club is gonna be a uh, probably a loan and um you know it won't be an expensive loan either. But I'm pleased with what I got, I've got to say that I'm I'm really excited what we've got. Um as I say, things always go on at football clubs, but you know, certain things are totally out of my control. But I'm pleased um with what the board have done so far and Hopefully something might change in the future and uh, if it does, we can readdress the situation and see where we can improve going forward. I think I think there's a little bit of concern out there about whether we want goalkeeper and you know that, I think that's that, that's fair enough. Uh but but you know, Baz, how, how is he? He's alright, yeah. You no, know, he he trained towards the end of last season. Uh, we were thinking of putting him into a reserve team game, but again, was it more psychological for him just to get a game under his belt before the end of the season or do you look at giving him an extra two months recovery to make sure that he's in uh, good condition coming back today? He's been working hard through the close season, physically no problem, he's done training for all through, uh, the close season, diving around. Obviously you know the heat wave coming is going to make the grounds a little bit harder for him but uh, you know, he, that's the way it is but you know, so far so good, he looks uh, he's in decent nick. He feels fine, so hopefully he'll, uh, he'll be ready and ready to go. But as you say, you know you do need two goalkeepers in the in the in the uh, the building. So we'll have to wait to see what we do with regards to someone who's going to come in and push Baz and, and play if and if it happens to Baz in the meantime, or if Baz needs a little blow through pre-season. You know he's not playing much football, and then you can't throw it all on his toes right through pre-season to play every game. So we're identifying things at the minute what we need to do there. Okay. Well, we mentioned before that there's a lot of optimism uh, around, you know, with the signs and, and everybody's chuffed to bits with them. The fixtures are out now. You know, a couple of questions. You know, what do you think of the fixtures? Uh, and a, a, a certain first fixture at home in in the league. Uh, and, and what are your uh, aims for the season? Um, well, the, the start of the season, obviously, all eyes at the moment is on our first game, which is hardly pulled away. Um, you know, again new ownership or whatever, Ronnie Moore, what he did at the end of last season, the players that they're taking into the, the club, there'll be a different uh, a different outfit, I should imagine, so it's a tough place to go, you know, passionate crowd, um, but we don't fear anyone, you know, we've seen it in the past, our record last year against the top sides was exceptional, just got to make sure that we improve against the bottom sides and keep that record against the top sides or the fancied sides, who knows who's going to be the top sides, everyone will think, you know, like support my Fox or the you know, look like they're having to go Cambridge United. Um, but we know in the past that we're a match for anyone. It's yeah. just getting a little bit more consistency and, and beating one or two more of the teams that are struggling down the bottom throughout the season. Um, yeah, that would probably be a tough one. Obviously, we've got the cup game, um, which is nice. Good draw at home as well. Mm. I think there'll be a good crowd on. Yeah. You know, they're a, a very big club, passionate supporters. I'm sure they'll travel in good numbers, so that'll be a good game. Um, and then obviously a handsome at home, which is unusual that's come around so early and we yeah. played them on a on a Saturday as well. But uh, again, tough match, they're all tough games. The, the league's tough. You know, people say it'd be tougher this year. No one knows what it's gonna be like. I always say over the last four years they've all been probably the same. Um, you know, your fancied side, some will do well, some will achieve, some will underachieve. Who's, who knows what's going to expect with the teams coming down? You know, who would have fought Sammy and Carlisle would have been fighting relegation all season after coming down from League One. Um, who knows what Bristol Rovers and Barnes are going to bring to the table coming up? But all we can think, you know, concentrate on is ourselves. We know um, we're capable. We have the belief that we're capable to do well, and hopefully, you know, we can improve on on um, on last season. It'd be a tough league. You need that little bit of luck. Um, I think you know there's always little surprise packages. Newport had a decent season. Mm. Obviously Wickham, no one expected that. No. But you need that little bit of luck. You need that little luck with regards to decisions, um, whether it be refereeing decisions or whatever. Um, you need that little bit of luck with injuries and suspensions, you know, which they had. Um, and if you get all that, and you know your spirit's good and you and you're fit and strong, which we will be. Um, there's no reason why we can't do okay, and that's what we're looking to do. But certainly, all we concentrate on um, 
just before the season starts, I'll be setting them targets for the first 12 games, where we need to be, what I want individually as groups, as a, as a, as a team, uh, where we should be aiming with regards to points tally, goals scored, goals against. Uh, and what I've said to him this morning, I want to improve in every area. That's the type of person I am. I want more points, I want to score more goals, concede less. You know, even the discipline record, although it was very good last year, you know, can we get better again on that? So everything, everything connected with the game, yeah. we want to improve on, and that's what we're looking to do. Well, they'll soon be coming uh, amongst us thick and fast with these fixtures, and uh, well, our first uh, pre-season friendly is only uh, a couple of weeks ago, and that's against Bolton yeah. here at home. Uh, we've got obviously we've got Berry the following Friday, so the Bolton's on the 17th, Berry on the 24th. Blackpool on the 28th, and then we've got a Liverpool 11 here on the uh, on the 1st of August, which I'm sure you want to do well against. Uh, are, are you looking forward to those? Of course, yeah. You know, you, when the season finishes, you'll have a little week or so, and there's no football. Obviously, once the Premiership finishes the week later, you know, there's nothing oh, like the Women's World Cup's yeah. going all right at the minute, and that's uh, yeah. it's football that you can tune into and, and you know keep your hand in with it because I just love watching games. You know, I'm on holiday watching the. Copa America and things like that and it's just great to be involved and you just can't wait for the games to come back around. That's what we're all involved in a game for, yeah, it's great getting fit and the uh, the spirit amongst the place and coming in that working environment and all that, but ultimately it's about the games and looking forward to and picking the fixes like you said and you know, as you say there's some good games at home in pre season. And uh, obviously we've got Nantwich and Kendall in between them as well. So I think that's what we've done over the, the last couple of seasons where we've had a good four home games to look forward to, but different opposition away from home as well, you know, lower down the pyramid, so uh, different types of tests. But, um, you know, Kendall's the first one, so all eyes on that at the minute, and making sure that, again, like I said to the lads today, making sure that you do everything that you can over the next two weeks, uh, because everyone, I want everyone fit and well ready for that first game to, to go and start, you know, putting the match boots on, putting the shin pads in, and getting out there and playing 11 v 11 stuff so that's what we're looking forward to but the whole programme's decent it's all programmed all scheduled ready everyone knows they've had an itinerary this morning when they're in what to expect um, what double days when the games are when your days off are recovery days uh, everything's geared up to make sure that we we come up strong ready for that first league game but we'll enjoy the pre-season in the meantime so this management like then, it's not about turning up on Saturday and picking the team, is it? No, is it not? No, <laughs> not at all. No, it's a busy job, but I enjoy it. I've told you that all along. I love the, uh, love the job, love the responsibility. Obviously, I've got a good relationship here as well. I want to do well for the club uh, and its fans. And um, So if there's a message to the fans at this point then, at this point just before the season starts, what would that yeah, be? Yeah, you know, I have the belief that we have. You know, we've had, uh, we've had it in the past, say, in the last season, our ups and downs. You know, uh, some great days, you know, beating teams and some terrible days getting beat by teams. But that's football. It happens for every uh, every every club around the country. You know, as long as we all stick together, that's the type of group we are. The staff and the players. You know, um, I come in on a Monday morning. We've lost the game. I'll be ready. I'll be ready to go. I'm upbeat. You know, I don't see the the, the need to sulk and be down. And exactly the same when we win games. There's no use thinking you've cracked it. And you. You know, world beater. It's about keeping level headed and keeping stuck together and keep working hard. And that's what I say to the fans: enjoy the ride, get behind us, give it all you can for us, because they're massively important off the field. You know, with the the atmosphere and the chanting and the cheering, um, and stick with us. And I'm sure together, all of us, uh, the motto is together we are winners. So hopefully we will be. And on that note, Jim, we'll say thank you very much, and we'll uh, we'll speak to you again in, a, in another few weeks. Yep. But, but good luck. Cheers, Mark. Cheers.